Hello, returning subscribers and also people of the Dodge truck community. Uh, welcome. So, in the video that you're going to see, I am building a visor and also a bracket to hold a light bar for anywhere from 42 to all the way to 50. Now, I haven't decided what I'm doing for the next two yet or even the next one because I'm thinking about getting a bigger light bar because it looks a little small in there. But that's my decision, so I'm like just trying to think. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll be talking to you more about the instructions to do everything with, so you guys can have a better time of building a visor for your truck, or getting a better idea to put on a light bar on your truck. Alright, see you guys in a little bit. Swag, bitch. So today we are doing the 2004 Dodge Dakota custom aluminum visor. Now it's not a drop visor, it's just going to be a regular visor. I don't know how bad this is going to vibrate, but that's why I got rubber, little rubber pieces I'm using. It's probably an eighth inch thick. It's from my floor mats that I bought from Walmart. I had to cut them so that's the scraps from them. So that's why you save shit for shit that you're going to be doing. Um, basically, it's going to get one bolt through it and then two rivets. Uh, it's going to be 20 inches long, I think. It's going to be like somewhere right around there. So it kind of looks dope, maybe. And then I'm going to do aluminum brazing, maybe. Maybe. Uh, and then from there, I'm going to make sure it's good. But as of right now, I'm just waiting on people to get here and also trying to just do some measurements so that way I can sort of mock some stuff up so back here with the finished product basically um i don't know how bad i haven't went and did a test drive with it yet but as you can see it's barely going to vibrate once i get this bolt down i've got a black strip back there as you can see to keep it from vibrating against the roof i hope so if not uh, i'm gonna have to do some other things but it looks good from a side view angle if you're looking at it looks good i mean from here and you can see it doesn't really affect the door any it's not even up against the door just the door just barely touches it I mean, it shuts, I'm not even pushing it. Look. So, I mean, we're good there. Oh, shit. My wires. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I mean, it does bow down a little bit. I will say that if I can hold the phone right here. You can see on this side right here, it bows down a little bit. But other than that, I think I did it pretty well good. My measurements, I went off of this visor right here, which I cut the hell up for it. Originally, I had a video on there of this visor, but I didn't end up using it. But basically, the pieces are 10 inches, 10 and a half inches, and then this is 48 long. That's why I just touched it there, because I thought... Maybe this was going to come there, but I forgot it wasn't a 50-inch light bar. This is like a 45 or 46. But that's what I'm working with. So I riveted it all down. I mean, it's pretty strong. You can't move it with your hand. And then down here, I fucked up the rivets. But I got the original screw, rivet, rivet. So if I can drill them out, I drill them out. That's the end of that. But other than that, I mean, it looks good. Here's an inside view. Inside view, it doesn't even look like nothing's really changed. I mean, you still see, can see everything. It's just a little bit of a, a little bit of a gap overhang. Well, who knows? If it doesn't work out, oh well. I mean, screw it, we'll move on to the next thing. But other than that, I love it. It looks nice. It looks really, really nice. I mean, I like it. That's all that matters, that I like it. Everybody's going to say it looks stupid or... Looks retarded, but hey, fuck them. It's my truck. But hey, I just gotta see. I can see about a 50 inch low. 50 inch light bars, I gotta see about though. 
So let me start out by saying this. The gauges of metal I used was... <sighs> the gauges of metal I used. I'm sorry. I am just very... Um, distracted right this minute. Got a lot of stuff going on in my personal life, so it kind of sucks. But the gauges of metal that I used for the, um, the straight piece that goes across and the diamond plate, that's all around like... 14 to 16 gauge. The two pieces that come off the actual truck is 22 gauge. Yes, very th very thin metal, I know. Um, shouldn't have used it, but here's the thing. It's all pulled together. It's not like it's just loose sitting on there, riveted together. No, it's all pulling on each other, against each other. So, no matter what, it's I don't think it's coming off there. Because I riveted everything down. That's on sticking on the outside, except for the um, light bar. The light bar is just bolted. Because if I want to remove those bolts eventually and put a 50 inch in, I can. Because the measurements <clears throat> for the pieces, pieces coming off the truck for the driver's side and passenger side, they are 19 and a half inches. The piece that's going across to connect the two pieces are 51 and a half. Diamond plate is 48 by 10 inches. 48 wide by 10 inches. It's not the full way of the plate supposed to be, because here's the thing. Diamond plate is very expensive. So I got this stuff out of a dumpster that was on a wall for a kitchen originally. So I ripped it out of the dumpster, and I put it in the bed of my truck to save it for this project. Yes, I shouldn't have done that, but it worked out. Um, eventually, I will probably be upgrading this to something better. Maybe metal or maybe a better aluminum. Because the, um, the 19 and a half inch pieces that go off the truck itself are very thin. So I kind of want to think about doing something better eventually. But as of right now, I'm okay. Future, maybe not okay. I'm just going to, I mean, if it's, some, if it's a beater vehicle that you're trying to do it on, Perfect. Uh, if it's your daily driver, take t your time and consideration and all your thoughts into the process because this was all fabricated. This wasn't just like a one day thing, me slap something together. No, this was like a few months of me figuring out what to do and going and looking at metal and going to look at pieces and then going to look at light bar brackets because my visor in total would have, with the diamond plate, would have costed me. 250 bucks, right? But for me saving the diamond plate and only buying the pieces of metal, it only costed me $36. So the diamond plate saved me a lot of money. I was thankful I was able to get that resalvaged out of the trash and reuse it for another purpose. Um, the The light bar I bought months previously, but the regular visors that you see online for second gen visors are five to six hundred dollars. Yes, they can professionally be put on, and you have to put holes into your actual roof. These brackets and this way method of doing it, you do not have to. Um, I will be upgrading my middle of the piece a little bit, but I'm not too sure how I'm going to do that yet. But if anything, um, I'll let you guys know. But basically the piece of paper here does not lie. So I've got my instructions of how to do that. Um, whatever's next is next. Um, the, I mean, it rained all day. No rain came in because I had to rivet it to the actual side of the truck, which I drove four holes in the truck, which ain't bad. Um, other than that, there's nothing else I can say or do that will, um, change the outcome of this project. Um, there are some fun minor tweaks I have to do to the actual frame itself. Um, the angles that you see cut on there. Now, you might say I sound a little bit dumb for doing this. 
I did them because it looked not good with flat to flat. Um, but also I just I just took it a pith pencil and I drew a line and I just I just took the grinder and just cut a line, put it on angle. If you got steady hands, you could do it pretty good. I mean, they look good on both sides. Um, the what is it called? I'm sorry. The um, the windshield. Now, when you got airflow going through there. Just remember, if your plate is touching your truck, you might want to con concave that out, make like make a little like C in it, a wide C in there, because you are going to have vibration and it's going to keep uh, rust hitting your roof. So it might chip your paint or it might do anything. But if it's a beater vehicle, I wouldn't worry about it. But just for my safety, because I am not liable for any of the actions you do, um, this is just a suggestion. If you want to build one. Build it, think about it, and then do it. Um, the only suggestion I would say is use probably 15 to 18 gauge for the actual coming off the truck with the actual pieces that are 19 and a half. Um, you could do 20 and a half or 20. Um, that would probably be pretty good, but I just didn't do it because of how thin the metal was. Eventually, I might do that, but. I don't know, cause you know you never you never really think these things through before you actually do it. Um, I don't think before I actually do it, I should say that. Um, but yeah, basically everything's riveted together. Nothing's welded. Nothing is uh, bolted, except for the um, two original staining bolts for the actual weather stripping on the outside of the doors. Those bolt into the actual thing as well. Um, other than that, everything's pretty much just fabricated and riveted. Uh, the light bar, I mean, I I will do that in another video of how to put a light bar on your 2004 Dodge Dakota. But um, right now, uh, I'm going to give you a bonus clip of that night after because I was testing it out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys um, have fun making it. If you're a builder like me, you'll enjoy it. Um, if you're a problem solver, it's a good thinking process. And it just looks, makes the truck look good. Um, there's pictures on Facebook, and there's pictures going to be on here. So, I mean, there's going to be a picture on the thumbnail. So, I hope you guys uh, like it. And um, here's a bonus clip, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, this is regular low beam driving just in case it was crap. So this is regular low beam driving, right? Okay, this is high beams, okay? This is low beams. Yep. Give me one second. There's a car up above me, but I'm gonna wait for it to go around that turn. I keep driving slow. So once it goes in the thing, yep. It's out of range. Flip the switch. Nitrous! Boom. Look at that shit. That's fucking impressive, man. And it's doing nothing to my voltmeter at all. It's not even draining the battery any. So that means two more or four more light bars. Like, look. Off. On. That's insane how the difference works. Stick tuned for the aftermath. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, 